Hi, nice to see you. Today we're going to take a look at a couple of PC soundbars. Well, when I say we're going to take a look at a couple of PC soundbars, um, really, I'm just going to unbox one and have a chat about another one because I originally bought a Black Web soundbar, which is a Asda's own brand. A small, compact. You know, that's just what I was after. But unfortunately, I had a few problems with that. So um, really, what we'll do is, we'll have a bit of chat about that first, uh, and then we'll unbox this, which is the Trust, I don't know if it's got a model number, it's the Trust Asto, or ESTO, soundbar. It looks a bit bigger, it's a bit more powerful than the Black Web one, and I've decided to go for this one because of what happened with the Black Web. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is, I'll take you through what happened with the Black Web, then we'll get this one unboxed, we'll get it hooked up, and we'll see what it's like. We'll start with the Black Web one. This is a decently built little little speaker system. It had a headphone socket uh, plugged in via USB for its power, and 3.5mm jack to go straight in the back of the system. The problem with this was, unfortunately, only the left side speakers worked on it, which is no good to anybody. So I decided to take it back and pick up the, the Trust one. This is why I can't actually recommend the, the Black Web one, which is actually Asda's own brand, as I mentioned earlier. And unfortunately, it was a, a decent little thing, a decent build quality, but obviously it didn't do what it was supposed to do. So unfortunately, it's out the window. So now we'll pop off and do the Trust unboxing. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Trust soundbar, PC, TV speaker, uh, Astro. There we go. Um, volume and power control on the front, illuminated, we've got a headphone and microphone input, it is 47 centimetres wide by 7.5 centimetres tall, uh, 12 watt peak power which is a 6 watts RMS, uh, rich stereo sound, large illuminated front volume control button, headphone and microphone as I already mentioned, USB powered so you've got no 3 pin plug which is great, we're all far for saving the environment as long as you've got enough USB ports. Right, let's get this open. I've not actually had a look at this at all, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the first time I've actually opened this as well. Um, so as you can see, you can only get the, the tape out with my uh, little scissors. Uh, new video coming soon, ladies and gentlemen. Just to let you know, uh, we are changing rooms. I'm going into a bigger room. So the studio, uh, we can have that a little bit separate. So, here we go, down there. what's in the box? Alright, first of all we have a RCA2 headphone cable with uh, what is obviously a quick install, install guide. There we go, there's that. Um, decently packaged. So, um, decent size as well, a lot bigger, I must say a lot bigger than the black web one that um, I don't have anymore. So, here we go. The Trust PC Speaker. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at that Nice weight. Feels like a nice build. Nice looking set of speakers on the front there. Both the wires. Both actually connected in this one. Uh, and we have a headphone socket and a microphone socket and a USB connector for the power. So, what do you think? Looks nice, feels nice. Should sit nice on the desk, nice and flat. Obviously plastic build, metal front grill, four speakers in there, two bass, two top end. Right, well, this is it. I'll turn that on so you can see properly. So, there you go, this is it. The Trust Air Astro speaker, 12 watts maximum power, um, well, what can I say? Let's get this plug in, switched on, see what it looks like. See you in a bit. So, here we go, there we go, that's it installed. Uh, I've had to put it on little feet, like I said, just to get over the mount uh, on my monitor. Uh, but we'll turn it on. Nice green illumination, little crackle, lets me know it's on. Turn that volume, careful of how we got it up, and then uh, obviously we will hit play. On a, what should we put it on? We'll put it on Hey. This is a courtesy Ben Sounds, this music. And 
sounds nice and clear. I don't know how it'll come through on the audio on the on the uh, on the video. Yeah, well, tell you the truth, that'll do me lovely. Has a, a decent, a decent sound. It's not crackling, and it's loud enough for this small room. And I don't have to worry about cranking it right up to the top volume. Um, get this event sounds. We're using um, Winamp to play this, um, and like you say, once again, uh, it seems to control work very nicely. Nice green illumination. Although most of my gear, as uh, everybody knows, is not green. But uh, I can live with that. I can live with that. So there we go. The Trust Asto. I think that's what it's called, wasn't it? Yes, it was the Trust Asto. Uh, and just another, just one, one more quick thing. Yeah, we'll just turn that down. And just one more thing before we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I did have a uh, wrap my brains uh, slightly thinking about uh, not only did I get um, the quick start guide, but what that cable was for. But then I realised that this is not just marketed at uh, PC owners. Uh, it is also marketed as a mini TV sound card. Uh, and this is what this is for. So RCA out to headphone socket or speaker socket. So your green socket will go in there and they will go to your TV. Sorry about the focus there. Uh, and that will that will get it working on your TV. Uh, so nice that that was in included. I mean you can use that in anything really. Uh, including your headphones. So there we go ladies and gentlemen. The Trust Astro soundbar. And for your PC or for your TV. Uh, with included cable as I did mention and um, some nice little instructions uh, on how to set it all up it seems to um, seem to very informative but don't forget don't forget the click oh where we are yeah don't forget the click <laughs> so anyway uh, it works it's loud enough for the, for this small room uh, I'm not sure what it'd be like in the big room downstairs the stairs on the TV and I'm not going to try it because I've already got Samsung uh, sound box down there which uh, works a treat I don't need this little one on there. Perhaps they both for the PC. Uh, well built. Mm, seems rugged enough. We'll see how long it lasts. Hopefully it lasts longer than the Black Web one. So, in order to say which is the best budget one between the Black Web one, which was on sale in Asda at the time for £6, and between the Trust one, which was also on sale for £12.50, I have to go with the Trust one. Basically, because the Trust one works. It's as simple as that. The Trust one works. Blackwell one didn't, and to be fair, it's probably alright if it does work, but obviously only having left hand speaker on, it, 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 it's no good, even editing it just it doesn't work, it doesn't give you a true presentation of, uh, of what you're listening to probably, uh, which is obviously quite a bit of stereo. So anyway ladies, uh, the trust, um, no bad products, they're not bad products, uh, decent budget products, um, don't be expecting immense immense things from trust products um, with quality on a budget I don't think you can really go wrong with that anyway if you liked it you liked it if you didn't you didn't ladies and gentlemen don't forget to click like or subscribe and tell your friends about the channel the more we get the better it'll get take care and I'll see you all in the next one Bye.